Hello, this is Pixel Freak, and today I'm talking about a game called Middle Manager of Justice. This one was released to Android earlier this week, it's been out on iOS now for some time, but the notable thing about this game is that it's made by Double Fine, and Double Fine makes a ton of really good games, including Brutal Legend, The Cave, Psychonauts, and tons of other games, some that I've played and some that I haven't. Now this game is no exception to that, Double Fine has done an amazing job here, so let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay and I'll break it down for you. In Middle Manager of Justice, you play as the, spoiler, middle manager of a branch of superheroes and you need to grow that branch up, your facilities need to expand and your superheroes need to be recruited and grown and then you need to go out and fight crime and try to take back the city from the evil bad guys. So this being a free game, the immediate concern of the majority of the players, I think, is what's the pay model look like? Because you know it's coming. And this is actually a two currency game, which for a lot of people is going to scare you off. So the game contains gold coins and a, another currency called Superium. Now Superium, though somewhat rare, is obtainable in the game. In fact, this game could be completed without paying for anything. I wouldn't really recommend that though. There is a purchase in the game for $2. You can get a little tree that grows Superium every 15 minutes. And then you should click on that plant and you get one drop of Superium for every 15 minutes that, uh, that you check in. Now that clock still runs even when the game's not on. So all you have to do is turn your device on to launch the game or, or, or what have you. Click the plant and then go ahead and close it again, which is what I've done. And I found it to be very effective. But you can also buy uh, quantities of Superium if you'd like to. And for about the same amount, for 4 or $5, you could probably get through and get everything out of the game with just a 4 or $5 purchase. So for me, even though this was a freemium game, this really wasn't a pay-to-win game. This wasn't an extremely unethical model. I found that it was implemented pretty fairly, and I, I think that people with very little effort could beat this game without paying anything. That being said, I think Double Fine's done a really good job here with the balance, as I'm going to get into here in a moment, and I think that they deserve to be paid for their work. That being said, I think people should buy that Superium Tree or buy the Coin Doubler so that they can earn double coins, though I've found that to be a lot less necessary than the Superium. So being a simulation game, there are multiple systems within the game that you can use to build up your characters. Now the primary is the base that you have where you have to build different rooms that build different facets of your characters. Most of them are just training rooms. For instance, you have a room that's dedicated to healing your heroes. So when you go out in the field and you fight, you need to go back and go into the beds and sleep so your HP will come back up. Now, if you buy better beds, you You'll heal up faster and there's also a couple different training rooms you can train special skills in one type and you can train your different ability points in another now with all these different rooms superium does come into play like most clock based freemium games do you can use the superium to avoid the clocks and immediately have your guys ready to go again but the amount of time that it takes to heal up is very small. It's not like these half an hour, 15 minute clocks that we see in a lot of the other pay to win or, or freemium wait games. This one, you usually wait in maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And because you have at any given time between two and four different heroes that you're juggling at the same time, you're never idle. You're always moving. In fact, the only time that I was ever idle in this game was towards the end when your wait times begin to increase for your various abilities and such upwards to 30 minutes and in that case what I was doing was just having my guy go and start training and then I was closing the game and allowing that training time to happen while I wasn't playing the game there's only a handful of different things that happen that take over I'd say 10 minutes most of those can be done with your device shut and you should be done with that if you if you juggle it within a couple rotations once you have your heroes, each different hero has a unique set of special abilities and you can research and train those abilities and grow them up using Superium or using just some time uh, in the training room and they'll become more, more powerful and more effective overall. 
For the most part, though, even though you're hiring as many heroes as you'd like, and I do believe there's something like eight of them, you're going to stick to about four because four is the amount of heroes that can be active within your facility at any given time. If you're out fighting crime, you can use as many heroes as you like, but because you can only use four in the facility at, at once, it makes healing a challenge to have, you know, five or six different heroes out on the field doing combat because you'll have to swap them out in the facility in order to heal them up and boost back their morale. So for the most part, you're still going to be juggling just about four guys, at least till the end of the game. At that point in time, you can always grow up more guys if you'd like to, but it kind of defeats the purpose once you're at the end of the game. So another cool feature of the game is the equipment and the meteorites. Now the equipment can be researched using a research facility and you can find new pieces of equipment there that you can equip on your characters or you can buy from the store, I should say. And meteorites can either be purchased with the Superium or you can find them out in the field. Now the cool thing about meteorites is they augment your characters in different ways than your equipment, which equipment is generally your strength and defense and health. Whereas the meteorites augment things like how much coins you'll receive from battles or how much experience you get or a few other modifiers like that. Now, meteorites drop in the field, but meteorites are a compounding equipment, meaning for every three or four meteorites that you find of one type, you can combine them using your manager and they'll create a next tier meteorite. Then in that tier, if you aggregate them again, you can create the next tier. And there's something like four or five different tiers. So you're going to need a lot of meteorites in order to use that. I did find that the meteorite system is not really that necessary. And if you wanted to expedite it, you can use Superium. But for the most part, I didn't do that just because meteorites are a little bit rare in the game, enough that you probably wouldn't go beyond the second or third tier without using a little bit of Superium. And I didn't really want to. Now, the greatest thing I found about this game overall is the balance. Going into this game with not wanting to spend a dime, you'll still be active the entire time, which I think is doing freemium right. Even when you make purchases, again, you are still active the entire time. And with a simulation game, that's extremely important. Pair this solid pacing with a very comical art style, some really funny dialogue, and a shallow but pieced together storyline, and you have a really good game. This game's far from perfect, but being a free game, I think this is one that nobody can miss. For that reason, Pixel Freak is giving this freemium game a run, go play rating. Because it's a free game, I'm not going to score it beyond that, but this is probably one of the best free games that I've played in a very long time. This is probably the next great freemium game that I've played since Quadrupus Rampage. So if you like free games and you want to play something that's going to keep you entertained without spending a lot of money, go check out Middle Manager of Justice. It's out right now on Google Play for the awesome price of free. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, this has been Pixel Freak.